time for another Zippo collection update. I'm going to do a very original format now where I'm going to put some Zippos out and I'm going to talk about them a bit and we're going to have a really great time. Okay, here we go. So, it seems that the going rate for Zippo collection updates now is three Zippos. I don't know, that just seems to be the rate I'm buying them at. So, three Zippos here. We're going to take a look at them and I'm going to compare one of them to another one because it's pretty interesting and let's get into it. Let's start with the one on the left. Okay, first up, let's take a look here. Bam! Look at that. If that doesn't say America, I don't know what does. This is the Mazzy or Mazai, uh, what do they call this thing? The Freedom Watch. It is a bald eagle coming out of the American flag, watching over our freedom, I suppose. For some reason, the bald eagle coming out of the American flag here reminds me of the Colbert Report. <laughs> Yes, that's the second video I've mentioned the Colbert Report in, but yes, he's coming out like its lower body is actually the American flag, and in the back it looks like some sort of Grand Canyon-esque thing there on the right side, right over there. And we have Mazzy or Mazai's signature there on the bottom, and, uh, well, what is that? It looks like a, uh, rocket coming out of the top of his signature. <laughs> That's interesting. And let's take a look at it. It is on a straight chrome finish, which is strange, because usually you see things like this on a brush chrome, but it's nice to see them on a street chrome there. You can see that nice street chrome scratchiness there. There's the sad onion making another appearance. And... Yes, no price sticker on this because, and I don't agree with this, but sometimes you'll get places that price their Zippos at their own price. When you take them up to the register, it won't appear as the sticker price. But this place just decides to... Uh, uh, take the sticker, the price sticker off because they want to price at their own price. I mean, it's good because it's cheaper, but I kind of like leaving the price sticker on there. I don't know. It's like getting, uh, it's like those people that leave those ridiculous stickers on their hats when they wear them. <laughs> I think that's, uh, what are they, the 50 hats? <laughs> fun, fun, fun. I, I think that looks utterly ridiculous when people do that, but I think for a collector's item like these, perhaps you might want to leave the price sticker on there and let the customer take it off. Just a small little thing here. There's some information here. When he picked up, when Mazai picked up his first airbrush at the age of 16, he immediately fell in love with it. Over the next four years, he perfected his airbrush technique, and if you want to read the rest of that, by all means, please pause the video. But some information about Mazai there, that's pretty interesting. And sometimes Zippo does really have some really interesting things on these, these, these cardboard inserts here. They're, they're sometimes pretty really interesting to read. Sometimes they're just plain, but sometimes they really got some interesting stuff on here. In case anybody's interested, this is the Mazai Freedom Watch, number 24764. And there you go. Go out and buy one if you would like. So again, it's got the uh, street chrome finish there. Very nice. Moving on now. Put this back over the side. Actually, you know what? Let's see. I'll try to leave it up there. Number two. The next one is a bit more plain, but it's a bit fascinating in its simplicity. It's like an Apple product. Here we go. Bam. This is, what do they call this? This is the Zippo logo, and I forget what the color is called. It's some sort of fancy color for purple. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but if you'll notice up in the top right there, let's take a look. It says Zippo on there, and I think that is just classy because you have a, a either dark blue or a purple matte finish here on this Zippo, and you have the name up there, and you know how I like Zippos that actually say Zippo on them. Something about it, I don't know. I don't know why it piques my interest so much, but it is entirely purple or dark blue matte. Sad onion on the back, and what kind of finish is underneath it? Uh... I don't know, it almost appears to be some sort of a street chrome. I think it is, in fact, G11. And you'll notice, when they took the paint off of this, it turned some sort of a weird green color. You're not just seeing that on the camera, that is, in fact, green color there. Yes, the purple, I for, wish I remembered the name of what the actual name of this was. They call it Zippo logo here, but that purple has a name. And it is, oh my goodness, we have a Z and an L in this, in this, uh product number 239ZL. I bet you ZL stands for Zippo logo or Zippo lighter. You never know about these things, but I don't think I've ever seen letters in the model number there. Very interesting. But yes, I love the simplicity. Just a matte color, says Zippo in the corner. Boom. Beautiful in its simplicity. Really like it. Of course I like it, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it, right? <laughs> anyway, that's two of three. 
And the last one to finish us off requires a little bit more talking about. Uh, here it is over here. Before we get into this, does anybody remember the bottoms up Zippos? If you don't, I showed one before uh, briefly in my when I was going over my whole collection and I never got really into it, but the bottoms up Zippo is actually one of my favorites because not only does it, you know, say Zippo like I like, but it's very interesting because there's pretty much no other one like it. Here it is. I brought it out to show us. This is the bottoms up Zippo. This I did not get. Again, I've had this for a while, but it says bottoms up and it says bottoms up. So no matter which way you hold it, it always says that. Fascinating, right? And what's so special about this? Got a bottom stamp on the bottom. Made an I of 08. Let's take a close look at that. Oh, excuse me, 09. 09, well, that's what I get for reading through the viewfinder. But on the other side, the lid, there's also a bottom stamp. How about that? Isn't that the coolest? Uh, this doesn't have the letter on it. It just has the bottom up, bottoms up B there, but it still has 09. That's really cool. It's got a really nice squared off finish. I bet you it was made on the same machine where they make the 1937 replica. Hmm, that's a possibility. Now it's got a million fingerprints over it, but I really like that. Squared off top and bottom and bottom stamp on both sides. Really cool, one of my favorites. Because Zippo generally doesn't put any designs on the top of their lighters. Unless you get one of the Japanese ones, which aren't actually Zippo made. They're just customized over in Japan. Anyway, so we have the, the uh, bottoms up one here, right? So what does that have to do with this new one? This one has something on the top as well. It has what Zippo has a very small line of called crown stamps, where they actually put something on the top. There's one that says, like, made in USA, and then, of course, there's this one here. This on this beautiful high-polished chrome Zippo. Zippo, an American classic, and it's got this these deep engraving lines here. High-polished chrome. Apparently, it was $32.95. That's not what I paid for it because I got it on Amazon. Let's take it out. Of course, we get the high polished chrome there. There I am. How you doing, folks? Anyway, got the sad onion again. And the thing that drew me to the slider, besides saying Zippo on the front and American Classic, which is beautiful and very nice front design, it also says Zippo stamped into the top with the flame on there. Not quite as nice as the stamping on the bottoms up Zippo. Because it's not canned, but... It's nice to see a little design there on the top, the crown stamp. Very nice. Uh, it says something on the bottom here, or in the in the insert. Like I said, it's always good to read these inserts. What's it say? I haven't read this myself. For decades, the bottom stamp has been the hallmark of every genuine Zippo lighter. I know. News, uh, now Zippo adds a stamp to the top, or crown of the lighter. These lighters are sought after collectibles because they are produced in small quantities. So, I bet you're all seeking after it, but you can't have it. Unless, of course, you buy your own. Which is the Zippo American Class 24751. Again, there are different designs of the crown stamp. One says Made in America, one says Zippo. There might be some other ones. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Really nice high-polished chrome finish and all that nice engraving. Zippo and American Classic. Okay. And that is the Zippo Collection update again. Like I said, it's been we've been doing the uh, theme of three lighters for these collection updates. I don't know, that's just the rate I'm buying them at. But I hope you enjoyed this collection update. I hope I may have sparked more people's interests to go out and get some of these Zippos. If you've never seen them before, I know there's some pretty interesting ones to me. And uh, go out and get them. Alright, thanks for watching this collection update, and I will see you next time.